Determine the empirical formula for the following compound if a sample contains this many moles of each element. So the empirical formula, remember, just gives the ratio of atoms in the substance. Is it one to one, one to two? How many parts potassium to parts carbon to parts oxygen? Well, to get the ratio of atoms, we need to be working with moles. Moles is directly related to atoms. Moles is just a scaled up version of atoms. So we're already in moles. So let's start by taking our biggest value and divide by the smallest. So we've got 0.156 moles of oxygen divided by 0.052 moles of carbon. Three. Three parts oxygen to one part carbon. Now divide the second biggest by the smallest. 0.104 moles of potassium divided by 0.052 moles of carbon. Two parts potassium to one part carbon. So for every one part carbon, we've got three parts oxygen and two parts potassium. So this is correct, but let's go ahead and put the metal out front and the non-metals on the right. 